Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brett Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thank you very much. Last season, the Lakers duo of LeBron and A.D. became the first duo of Lakers starters in the All-Star game since Shaq and Kobe in 2013. It was, as we all expected, a perfect pairing. And LeBron said, it's getting better as the days go by. The more time you spend together having the same goals, the same drive, it organically happens. I don't know about organics. I just know that those two are scary for the rest of the league. Kevin? You're right, Dave. That is scary. Thanks for that one. So here's Miami's starting group. Hero on the wing along with Butler. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Schroeder in at the point. And for the Lakers, the forwards are LeBron and Davis. Contavious Caldwell-Pope is out there with Simmons. And it's Drummond in at the five. Well, the superstar players always get the headlines, but you need more great role players, it seems, as you look at the history of champions, to win. Uh, so that being said, Greg, what kind of role players do you look for? You know, Kevin, it starts on your best player, and I think you go from there. Obviously, in today's game, spot-up shooting is critically important. And then you got to factor in versatility. You need guys that can guard multiple positions, uh, that give you some rim protection, but obviously that can also shoot the basketball. And you, you, I think it's critical having that instant offense guy coming off the bench as well. To, when your team's in a bit of a funk, somebody you can trust to kind of light a fire. Good point. And so it's the Heat hitting on the board first. Here's Simmons. And too long on the shot. Here's Schroeder. Outside Leonard. The three. Anthony Davis with the rebound. Caldwell Pope on the wing. Back to Davis. Simmons looking it over. Driving to the basket. And Drummond kicks to Simmons. Just three to shoot. Over Leonard. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And it's Adebayo with the ball for the Heat. And what a factor Ben Simmons is on the floor. He does so much for this team in every facet of the game. He's a triple-double threat whenever he suits up. Well, they're passing to Adebayo. And it's sent back by Drummond. A high motor keeps Drummond engaged defensively. He doesn't want to let any shots go in. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. And it's Butler missing. And sometimes people forget just how young Ben Simmons is, Greg. This is just the beginning for him. I mean, and that's what fans are missing about Simmons. His age. I mean, you can worry about his shot, but he has a long time to figure it out. He, he could end up having a Jason Kidd type of a career where he becomes a solid shooter later on. And here's Leonard. Following the three-pointer from Contavious Caldwell Pope. And Adebayo throws it down. Well, you see the improvement in terms of high-level playmaking, a great understanding of all the offensive scheme that Kawhi Leonard possesses. Now here's James. Outside, Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. There's Schroeder after the basket by the Lakers. And there's the drive. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Whenever Schroeder sees a hole in the defense, he is ferocious in how he exploits it. Here's Simmons. And no good. And Miami the other way now. Well, uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Here's Schroeder. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. 
Well, you don't want to body him up. He's just too fast as Schroeder's able to get it done. Here's James driving the lane and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Jimmy Butler. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Lakers shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. Definitely an area where they can improve. Only 73% as a team from the line last year. Size and speed and force of LeBron James is something to behold. And he just seems to be getting better and better. That is scary. Adebayo finds Schroeder. Here's Leonard. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Can't hit that one. And it's the Lakers the other way. Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. Outside, Simmons. Driving in. Goes back up. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And that strength of Drummond at times can be overwhelming. Awesome at staying with his shot, even when the pressure is on. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for the Lakers. Heat also with the sub. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Tyler Hero. And it's Schroeder missing. The Lakers in the lead. LeBron outside. To the inside, Davis. That shot, no good. Miami's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Schroeder, right side, beyond the arc. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Here's James. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And you got to do better than that, or, or at least try LeBron James. Just too strong, and a little contact is not going to go a long way. Now, here's Schroeder. Pass to Autobio. The pass to Leonard. And stolen by Drummond. There's the three. LeBron, no good. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Three-pointer, Butler. Again, the miss by the Heat. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Three-point lead. Caruso kicks to James. There's the drive. And he finishes nicely on the way. LeBron's got five. So many years, and the body still holding up for LeBron James. Wow. Schroeder with the ball. He's picked up by Drummond. And it's sent back by Drummond. Davis against Butler. Davis kicks to Caruso. The three. Kept alive. Here's Drummond. Misses from close range. The Heat trail by five. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And that one's good by Butler. And trust me, Dennis Schroeder would love to score the basketball, but his ability to set up his teammates is also effective. deciding to change it up. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Here's Caruso. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Harold. It's blocked. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Dragic finds none. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. And that'll tie this game up. Now, some guys have a hard time finding their teammates in those possessions. Dragic is always looking to dish to get it to the open man. 
Man, you get so caught up in the bravado of someone scoring on you and you wanting to even the score. Unfortunately, he couldn't answer back. Now, here's none. Just two seconds between shot clock and game. He takes it in. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Los Angeles shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And the first one drops. The Heat making a switch here. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 19 seconds left in the first. Leonard looking over the floor. A shot off that time. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Lakers on top, leading by just two. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. And chatting earlier with Ben Simmons, he addressed the scrutiny that players have to deal with on a daily basis. For me, it, it comes with blocking criticism from people I don't really need to hear from. You know, I don't mind. Everyone has their opinion. Everyone's going to say something, um, which is fine. But at the same time, I got to worry about, you know, what I need to focus on. And with social media now, Greg, blocking out the noise has become for these players even harder. I mean, truth is, people like to criticize others. We should be celebrating what Simmons has accomplished at a very young age. <laughs> Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? I mean, the rebounding was the difference in that first period. You've got to block these guys out. Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will, and they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. On the court for the Heat, backcourt guards are Dragic and Hero. Baca is out there with a chew -up. And it's Leonard in at the three spot. Count it. The defender is called for the block, and this could turn into a three-point play. And the inside part of Kawhi's game just so hard to stop. He's too physical and seems to be just locked in at times. The Heat shooting their first free throw of the game right now. And at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid numbers. And now running up the court, Leonard pushing it up. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. I'm amazed at Simmons' athletic ability. He moves so fluidly for someone that size. Here's Hero. He's defended by Hero. Hero passes to a back. It's good from long range. Buck has got his first three points of the game. Bray, can you really compare players from completely different eras? I mean, people love to talk about the greatest of all time. You know, Kev, some players do transcend eras. There's no doubt about that. Wilt's a great example, and there are many others. But, but in reality, to your point, the style and the way in which the game was played was so different uh, that it isn't fair. I mean, all you can be is the best of your generation or one of the best, and I, I think that should stand no matter what the conversation is. Like, there's no doubt in your mind Oscar Robertson could play in this era as well as he played when he played. No doubt. What a jam! Wow. Right there. What a jam! Nice. Uh, sometimes LeBron just likes to take it all out on the rim that time on display. Miami leading by three. Now here's Dragic. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Passes to Leonard. And the rejection by James. And he gets it back. Just five on the clock. 
There's Trogic with the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Well, he definitely forced that shot, guys. He had plenty of time to adjust himself and kick the ball out and look for a better shot. Have to give credit to the defense there, too. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. with some changes. Andre Drummond comes in for Harrell, and it's Caldwell Pope in for Robinson. Then for the Heat, Butler, he's checked in for Leonard. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Goran Dragic. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Adebayo. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. That's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. The incredible focus of Simmons. Not, nothing gets to this guy, even when he's getting bodied by the defense. Schroeder finds Butler. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Drummond's got eight rebounds in this game. And at last season's trade deadline, Andre Drummond traded away basically for a second round pick. A shockingly low return for a guy who was once considered a franchise player. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Simmons dishes to James. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. And now it's a three-point Los Angeles lead. And Greg, why is it that the Pistons got so little in exchange for Drummond? Well, I, I think he was an impending free agent. I think Detroit looking to rebuild. Also, it says something about the center position in today's game. Loads it up for Adebayo. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. That's everything you want there. Bam Adebayo up there. Vertical, good hands, and the big throwdown. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Those three pointers off the mark. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Heat. They trail by one. Ball's knocked loose. Davis with it. Butler covering. Davis the pass to James. Back to Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. That's just an outstanding pick and roll there to get Davis diving to the rim. Once he gets the pass, the shot was as simple as it gets. The Heat trailed by three. Now Schroeder. Out to the wing. Ibaka, the pass to Autobio. And it's sent back by Drummond. Four on the shot clock. As a big, once you get position inside, it allows you to fight and come away with a lot of tough boards. And Tyler Hero gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Alex Caruso, he's jacked in for Simmons. Kendrick Nunn, he's jacked in for Miami. Miami on defense. It's a three-point game. Here's Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. All length there from AD, the assertive attitude and it just makes him such a handful on the offensive glass. And it's the Heat with the ball. Schroeder outside. Pass to Nunn. Going inside. Adebayo. Yep, that one goes in there. That's 10 points for Bam Adebayo. You see the offense coming around for Adebayo. Entered the league with raw skills, but he's had the benefit of great coaching. Here's Davis. Basket counts. Davis has got the lead up to five now for the Lakers. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Pass to Adebayo. And here's Schroeder. Here's the floater, and it's sent back by Drummond. And, and boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. And it's Davis missing. 
Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. The pass to Autobahn. Butler with the ball. Back to Adebayo. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And stolen by Butler. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Loads it up for Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop. He absolutely hammered it down. LeBron with it. Now defended by Adebayo. And there's the call on Jink. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. The Heat trail by three. Outside Leonard. Over to the wing. Robinson for three. And beat the clock. Count it. He caught it. That's how you do it. Stay patient, wait for the opportunity, and boom. That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter, too, with some confidence. And that concludes the first half. Lakers lead by six. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Kawhi, you have grown so much offensively throughout your career. What's the focus of that end of the floor? Uh, you know, just knocking down open shots, uh, my ball handling and making good decisions about the pick and roll and just try to limit my turnovers. And you've done well so far, Kawhi. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And of course, every team is scheming ways to slow down AD. But Shaq, he seems too versatile almost to, to stop. Yeah, he's dominant in all aspects of the game. He's elite at both ends of the floor, Ernie. Well, he's a Hall of Famer uh, if he stays healthy, of course. But uh, I don't think he cares about his individual accolades. What do you guys think? I think he just wants rings. Yeah, I believe so too. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. And you look at Adebayo, what a contribution. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. Yeah, we'll see if the double teams start to come here in the second half to make them adjust offensively. But he's going to keep going at them. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Taking a look at Los Angeles. The forwards are LeBron and Davis. Simmons is out there with Contavious Caldwell Pope, and it's Drummond in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Greg, when you played for the Knicks, I always heard that Charles Oakley would cook for the players. Is that true? Absolutely. Oak was very particular about his food. And I gotta tell you, he knows his way around the kitchen. And to be honest, I would never tell him otherwise. Well, what was his special? Whatever he made, it was special. <laughs> Wouldn't matter. <laughs> Adebayo with a screen on Simmons. The shot's good. Schroeder's got six. Nice use of the pick and roll from Schroeder there. Allows him to get an easy shot. Simmons inside. He's guarded by Schroeder. Simmons dishes to Davis. Shoots over Leonard. Bank shot. No good. He has to make those shots, guys. If not, a lot of pressure is shifted to the perimeter shooters to hit everything. Passes it to Autobio. Here's Butler. He's guarded by Davis. Outside, Simmons. 
and the call on the shot sends him to the line. The 2018 Rookie of the Year, Simmons' NBA career got off to a great start, and he's only continued to improve. The team just cannot get into a groove from the free throw line. It's a common problem for them. No good on the second free throw. The Heat trail by five. And as impressive as the numbers were for Jimmy Butler in the bubble, they don't begin to tell the whole story. He, he was hitting clutch shots for the Heat during that run in the postseason. LeBron kicks to Simmons. And there's a whistle, and that's going to go on Simmons. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. You know, Greg, going back to Jimmy Button, it felt like each series he had a few big shots. I mean, everything you want from your leader. The, the big shots, motivating others, setting an example with this play. Butler played as well as any leader in the postseason. Drummond in the post. Leonard's there. Here's Simmons. Count it. Simmons got 10 points in the game. I admire Simmons' ability inside. That's where he's an elite finisher. Shooter kicks to Butler. Here he goes. And slam dunk by Butler. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Los Angeles leading by five. James looking it over. Outside, Simmons. Dishes it to Drummond. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Hey, that's Drummond. Throwback center who does almost all of his damage inside. The Heat trail by seven. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's Schroeder. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. All oh, the, the officials are all over that one. The Heat shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And he knocks down the first one. The shooter, it's all about speed. He just changes direction and shifts into another gear, Kevin. That's where his advantage lies. Serge Ibaka has checked in for the Heat. So he gets them both. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. The drive by Squirrel oh, hammering it in. Yeah, whenever Simmons gets a chance to show off his insane jumping skills, he sees it. The Heat trail by seven. Here's Hero. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. So the wing on the left. Six on the shot clock. And this has been an outstanding display on the board. And it's a big part of why they have a lead. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, I'm not going to give LeBron any more space. But certainly like to see him dunk. How about that throwdown? So it's Miami now. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Schroeder finds Butler. And Ben Simmons picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Harrell, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And then for Miami, Kendrick Nunn comes in for Hero. And it's Drogic in for Dennis Schroeder. Butler with the ball. to Ibaka. Down to five on the shot clock. Again, the miss by the Heat. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. James, the pass to Simmons. Inside. Here's Davis. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Rogic against Simmons. Takes the turnaround chain. And it's off the back rim. No good. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. 
get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Now here's Dragic. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Ibaka outside. Pass to Butler. Over Simmons. And it's Butler missing. He wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. Trying to get open is Davis. Here's Harrell. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Harrell's got his first points of the game. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Here's Drogic from outside. Again, the miss by the Heat. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Yeah, but in the first half, he was just purely flawless as a ball secure. But that certainly hasn't been the case here in the second half. Achua, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take... That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. Here's Horton Tucker. Robinson passes to Robinson. One twenty-nine left here in the third quarter. The Heat trailed by eleven. To the left wing. Here's Nunn. That's it. Coming off an assist from Dragic. Nunn's got six. Now Dragic can be a great playmaker, and I love how he slings the ball around that time to an open teammate. Robinson for three. They get a bet. Harold. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. Well, looking up and down the statue here, I'm seeing those second chance points jump out at me. They've done a great job on the offensive glass. Dragic the pass to Leonard. Back to Dragic. 52 seconds left to play here in the third. He dishes it to Leonard. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And we all know what a tough cover Kawhi has become. The defender got caught in a bad position and is kicking himself for it now. Adebayo is checked in for Miami. Leonard hits them both. Lakers leading by eight. Here's Caruso. Now Trogic. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. None kicks to Dragic. Outside Leonard. There's the triple. Miami no good on that time either. Los Angeles has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Caruso, the pass to Robinson. And really the smart thing would be to hold for the last shot. And every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Here's Caruso. No good with the triple. That will count. No good that time. And so it's Los Angeles in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. Back right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. The Heat trail by eight. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. Hero on the wing, along with Butler. Achua is out there with Adebayo. And it's Schroeder in at the point. And that's number four. Definitely something to keep track of as we move forward. Achua, the pass to Adebayo. And two free throws coming up.
get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Montrez here. Adebayo on the inside knows he has to go up hard. He's going to get hit, and he forces the D to do it that time. First free throw is good. And Bam Adebayo demonstrating a refined skill set that belies his nickname. Over five assists per game. He's a creator, not just a finisher. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Los Angeles. Iguodala comes in for James. Simmons inside. And then Simmons slams it in. And this is how Simmons puts up points. He challenges you close at the rim more often than not having the physical advantage. And the Heat have given Adebayo the leeway to rip and run, baby. Make things happen. And Kevin, an unselfish player who loves to pass. Even back in high school, playing with lesser talent, he made sure to find the others. And here's Schroeder. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. The Heat making a switch here. The buck is checked in. Simmons inside. Feeds it to Davis. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Schroeder with the ball. Such a strong offensive player. Schroeder is capable of knocking down some mid-range shots if you give him some room. Here's Simmons. He kicks it to Robinson. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got three assists now in this one. They haven't relied on him as much as usual, but when his number has been called, he shot well enough to help them earn the lead. To the paint, here's Adebayo. And fouled as he went up to the dunk. Good aggressive move, and he'll shoot two. It's on Mitchell Robinson. You wonder just what it is that's next for Bam as he's shown incredible improvement in a very short amount of time as one of the more versatile bigs in the league. And so he hits both. And Bam Adebayo has a chance to be a very good interior defender. The way he moves his feet, because he's so physical, he's a presence down there. And Simmons kicks to Iguodala. Off target from outside. The Heat trail by eight. Here's Hero. Schroeder outside. And Brent Story has it in his draft workouts. The Heat ran out of bind to exhaustion, then put him to the test, carding wing players. Yeah, they looked at him and said, in effect, you must not know who I am and the kind of work that I've done. He's got that kind of edge, and that's the thing that this Heat culture is always looking for. And Adebayo throws it down. Bam grabs the board, and then Bam knows what to do. here for the Lakers. Drummond's checked in for Robinson. LeBron comes in for Andre Iguodala. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope in for Alex Caruso. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. During that break, Frank Vogel had some real words for his team. He likes where things are headed, but he cautioned them to play smart the rest of the way. He said carelessness with the ball, with assignments, with rotations, any of that can undo what we've worked to accomplish so far. Kevin, they are so close. They grab their own miss. Schroeder passes to Autobahn. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got five assists tonight. Bam trying to expand his game a little bit as he's able to knock down the catch-and-shoot jumper. Here's Drummond, and Drummond throws it down. Oh, 
Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. The Heat trail by eight. Schroeder outside. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And, and taken with the 30th pick back in 2011, Jimmy Butler went from 15th man in Chicago, riding the end of the bench, to franchise player in the course of four seasons. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for the Heat. And Greg, it seemed in Chicago and Minnesota, maybe Jimmy Butler wore out his welcome. Philadelphia, they had him. He had to juggle multiple stars, but man, Miami, the Heat handed him the keys, and he has taken off. And Kevin, he's shown himself worthy, lifting them to a top seed in the East and himself into the MVP conversation. Leonard, the pass to Autobio. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Davis against Leonard. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. And how about the slashing ability of Simmons, really creating havoc for the defense with his aggressive mentality? Looks it up for Adebayo, and stolen by LeBron. Davis in the corner for the three. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. James has got six assists in the game. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Here's Hero to stop the run. LeBron with the block. Wow, LeBron throwing that one away hard. There's a message behind that block. Five to shoot. Miami again turning it over. They can take their time on this possession. It would be a bad idea just give themselves a little bit of a break. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. present our New Balance Player of the Game, Andre Drummond. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. The lift he got from this home crowd has been obvious. There's nothing fans love more than getting a big game out of someone other than one of their stars. Here's James. Drummond trying to get himself free. James misses. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Down by 15. And again, it's the Heat missing. Los Angeles has gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for Los Angeles. I think the attitude was very impressive. Definitely a competitive game, and they fought through it each step of the way. Absolutely. They put on a tremendous performance in terms of the effort and intensity. This was a well-deserved win. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for LeBron. So sharp on the passing tonight. You know, guys can get into a rhythm that way, too. Trying to get something going, and there's the nice layup by Leonard. I love the patience, the tactical mindset of Leonard. He's so good at picking his spots, especially on the pick and roll. Here's James, and he drives in. He's off on that one. And Miami the other way now. But 
Butler with the ball. He's picked up by LeBron. Butler dishes to Lennon. No question who's been in control of this game. Boy, they have really taken charge here. They get it again. Davis. And Adebayo sends it back. Are, are we sure that Bam's not wearing a watch out there? Perfect timing. Just five on the clock. Here's Simmons. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds. But they still come up empty. Leonard against Davis. Adebayo with a screen on Davis. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. A three from Simmons. Can't get it to fall. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, LeBron, congrats on the win. What do you think made the difference tonight? Uh, defense. We made our mark defensively. We understand that for the long term, we have to defend at a high level. We've been doing it. It does start at that end, LeBron. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Olden, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you next time.